This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. My previous tutorials talked about basic brushwork and brush clipping. This tutorial will focus on the 2D Shape Editor. In the top toolbar here, you can see that there is a red triangle, and that is the icon for the 2D Shape Editor. So click on that and maximize the window. In the middle, you will see a square, which is basically the start of your two-dimensional shape. You can easily add more corners if you want to, simply by selecting one of the sides, and then come up here and click on this button, which is called Split Segments. So there, as you can see, I've added one more point, and if I do it again, I'll have two. So now I have six of these points to work with. The second thing you want to do is come up here to Edit, Grid, and make sure that the grid is the size that you need. For bigger brushes, I like to go with a grid of 16, so that each one of these squares is 16 units, which means the height of this square right now is 256. The next thing I want to show you is these corners that are selected, the red one, all you need to do to move them is to hold down your left mouse button and drag. So if I take this one here, I can do the same thing. Hold down the left mouse button and drag it to the position that you want. And then just to make this more symmetrical, I'm going to take this one and drag it. So here is the two-dimensional shape that I've created. The next thing I'm going to do is you see this green dot in the middle. That is the rotation point for the shape that you're about to make. So if I want to rotate this and make a curved hallway, for example, I have to take this green dot and drag it over. And for now, I'll just drag it over this much. So if I were to rotate this shape, it's going to rotate around this as the axis. And it's hard to see right now, but it'll come clear when I hit the Build button. Up here are the different types of builds that you can do with this editor. You can just create a regular two-dimensional sheet. So it'll be this as a two-dimensional sheet brush. Or you can revolve it around this center of rotation or you can extrude it, which I will also show you in this video, or you can simply make a pyramid because it'll extrude this up to a point, and this last one will give you a partial pyramid because it'll extrude, but it'll go up towards a point, but then it'll be clipped off at the top. For now, let's do the revolving brush. You click on that, and the first thing you need to decide is how many segments do you want to make a full 360 circle? I'm going to do about 16, which isn't really a perfect circle, but just for the purposes of this tutorial, it'll make it easier for me. And then the next line is how many of these segments do you want to use? So I'm going to choose four. So since four is one quarter of 16, that means that when I hit the OK button, I'm going to get a quarter circle. So let me click on the OK button. And now this is very important. Do not close the window, simply minimize it. And there is my shape. So let me turn on the joystick icon here so you can see what I'm going to do next. Right now, this brush is on its end and it's not going to be very useful if you're a player. So I want to rotate this so that it comes down onto the ground. So first you need to click on the Brush Rotate button. And then you want to select that brush. And then you, in this case, I'm going to be rotating it down this way to the ground. So in this particular case, you need to hold down the Control key and both the left and the right mouse buttons. And keep doing that until it's perfectly flat and you can see it a line here that it's perfectly flat now. Always go back to camera mode and now you can see the brush. 
So before I build this brush, let's quickly choose a texture. I'll go back to UT Tech 1. And I'll choose a wall texture. And now I can hit subtract. So you can see the brush. It's like part of the curved hallway. So as you can see, it's a very handy tool for making this type of a brush in one shot. However, there's a lot of different polygons here that have been created and they're not aligned. So first of all, let's do it really quick. Click on one surface, right click and select all adjacents. So that means it's going to select all of the brushes, all of the textures here. Then I will do right click, wall direction, wall panning. And now you can see that the walls are perfectly aligned. And the next trick I'm going to show you is for the floor. Simply click on one of the floor textures. Then again, right click, select only the adjacent floors. Go back to your texture browser. Let's go to the base textures. And there you have a floor texture. And of course, this is not aligned either. So you need to right click, align to floor. And now let's do the same trick at the very top which is the ceiling. So if you take this one here, which is the ceiling one, right click, select all adjacent floors or ceilings. So you can see that those ones are selected. Right click again, apply that base texture, and then right click again, align to floor or ceiling. There, so that's part one. Part two is we're gonna to return to the 2D shape editor, which is over here. And this time I want a straight piece for my hallway. So I'm going to be using this button, which is called extruded shape. And just for now, let's go 256 units. So that means that this piece of the hallway will be 256 units long. Click OK. And again, do not close. Hit minimize. And now you will see this new brush. So let me click on it so you can see it better. And we need to align it. So hold down your control key and your left mouse button and drag it over. And then check in all of your windows that it's properly aligned. So there's part two. This is a straight piece and go back up to your browser for the textures. Go back to the wall that you previously used. And then hit subtract. So this time, again, you're going to have to take this texture, this one, holding down the control key and clicking on them. Those are the four that are wall textures, so they need to be aligned. And now you can see there's a perfect fit. The next piece is to come down here grab that base texture that you used right click and align to floor then come up to the top and apply the same base texture and align to floor so we're almost done we have sort of as you can see from the top view, we're almost done with our curved hallway. We're going to just take this piece because we've already done all the work to align the textures and we'll duplicate the brush. And as you can see, I'm going to need to rotate this. So go over here to the brush rotate button, click on that, hold down the control key and the right mouse button 
until it's properly rotated, then go back to camera mode, hold down the control key and the left mouse button to move it right into place and making sure that it's aligned. And now you can hit build. So there you go. So there is your curved hallway with all the textures aligned and then this needs to attach to a room so we could just go one step further height of 256 and you'll see that this brush is not what we expected because we had to rotate it to make the curved hallway so zoom in right click on the brush reset its rotation and now it's flat and then move it into position and I'm just going to hit subtract so you can see the effect so now you have this square room and then with a little curved hallway